Hey guys, how's it going? Seeker here, and I just wanted to play some FTL, and I've played it obviously before, um, but I kind of wanted to record, because I haven't recorded in, in a little bit. So, uh, these are the ships I have so far. Um, for the first time, I'm probably going to go with the Federation Cruiser, because I tend to like this ship. I'm going to go in easy mode. Just because of the fact that I'm trying to beat easy mode ten times with every ship. There's my goal. And I'm not in the right notebook. Yeah. I've only beaten the game once. And to be honest with you, I think that was absolute luck of the draw. I mean, this game has a lot of luck to it. But, um, the reason I say that is I got like four burst laser Mach 3s and it's ridiculous. Alright. Alright, let's jump. Okay, so I'm probably going to make these videos one sector per video. Maybe. Unless if it's short, I guess. I, I might continue. Alright, so I'm probably going to go here, 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 wrap around. Actually, I could hit this distress beacon. So here, 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 and then wrap. Yeah. I'm just gonna hit the distress beacon first one. Yeah, this never works. Yep, never works for me, but I do it every time. Oh crap! <laughs> I was trying to turn up my volume at the same time as this. So these ships, uh, I tend to use the strategy of depowering that, and they're gonna. F oh god! That hurt. Um. See, I just like to take out their O2 and occasionally take out. <laughs> their weapons or something like because it's kind of frustrating when they have weapons on like all right this is probably gonna be my last hit unless one of these shots misses which would be nice miss one nope so that's my last hit because i don't want to kill them um they're just going basically if you don't know what this strategy is i took out their o2 and which is their oxygen and they cannot get to their oxygen which means they're gonna lose and they're gonna die. Alright, while we're waiting, I guess I'll talk a little bit about FTL and what it's about. So basically, in FTL, you play as a ship of your choice, as you saw earlier, and you have random encounters like these ones, sometimes fights like this, sometimes not. And all it is is to upgrade your ship in order to fight the final boss and defend the base. Now, this engine thing, if this is offline, uh, you can not jump away like this, it doesn't do that, and you have no dodge, I believe. Same with this, if this is offline, you have no dodge. Oxygen, of course, if you have that offline, then nothing happens. Now this ship particularly, I don't know if any other ships have it, but I know that none of the other ships I have have it. Uh, this is like a laser beam that just goes all across their ship. Uh, with the crew dead, you are able to take the fuel out of the storage. You also take all the scrap you can manage. Okay. Uh, so basically the more power... Hold on, let me just go in here. So you see, you can upgrade everything to give it better supplies and stuff. I like to upgrade this. Because that's really nice being able to see in the ship, especially for battles against these guys. That would have been really nice. Alright, we'll go for over the rest of my tour in the next part. Not in the next video, but yeah, you know what I mean. Now, you're you're the exact same ship. You do not threaten me. That ion cannon does though. I'm gonna power that online so I'll get one beam. That this particular laser penetrates all shields, which is very nice. 
Oh crap. There you go. As you see, when you actually do get hit, it can be a problem. Um I'm gonna go over actually I should go over the people in my ship. This is a human. Just it's a regular character. This is a mantis. They are particularly ex particularly exceeding in uh fighting, so basically you can later on you can get teleported, teleported onto a ship. Or sometimes they'll teleport onto your ship in which uh there is hand to hand combat, which these guys are the best at these guys are immune to fire damage, so and they have a bonus health. So basically, these guys are great for one fixing breaches like so, or just being in the uh, fighting business because of their uh, excelled health. And I don't know why this guy's been sitting there. That has been smart. Whatever. All right. I'm not gonna fire my burst laser again. Ow. Yeah. Oh, and these guys, these mantis are very slow at repairing, as these NGs are actually speed repair, basically. They are hurting us bad. Alright. Alright, you know what? Just get the weapons online, we're just gonna light them up. Light them up. Light them up. Just wait, what's the laser gonna do? What's the laser gonna do? You see you can if it'll let me Oh, do I not have door control on light? No. Oh, it's already on light. So basically you can open these doors here and oh my lordy. These guys are being annoying. Alright, they're about to die, so I'm gonna turn that off. Oof. Oh, that's not good. Oh, they jumped away. I didn't even realize that. Great. Good job, me. Well, basically, you can open these doors, and it will take all the oxygen away from the room, which sounds stupid. Why would you want to take the oxygen away? Well, if you know anything about fire, fire cannot exist without that... Uh, without oxygen, so it sucks it out. Um, just healing myself right now. These guys are at full health. Oh, and the rock guys also have a feature, as you probably noticed, they are slower. And I believe the mantis are faster, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Let's check them out. Have to repair speed. Yeah, they have a little bit more move speed. Combat damage and flare. Oh, I never, I never knew that. So I should stop attacking with these guys. That'd be pretty smart. Okay. So basically, you want to hit. I'll show you next time, actually. Um. Now these guys. Uh. I don't really have a strategy against these guys. It's just. Blast them away, basically. Actually, I shouldn't be blasting away that. I should be blasting away there. Because they can't damage me with their current weapon setup. So, and now, basically, they can't dodge any shots with that down. So, I'm going to just hit them right again. That's going to be some damage. Ooh. They're just going to stay in there. I guess I'll... Auto fire down. Why well, don't I actually do have auto fire? Boom. Uh, shield attack here. Just because they're shield, they would be dead already if they didn't have the shield. Boom. And. Oh, the laser got him. See, it slowly charges, but that's just like a bonus weapon. You can actually get lasers that. Fire, you can fire manually. Uh, I don't think that's useful right now. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm gonna upgrade this, which, as you see there, the bar became shorter, meaning that it has less charge time, which can be useful. Okay, so while I'm here, I'm gonna tell you guys all about this map.
well not everything but as you see this area right here is where the rebels already are they already exist here and basically if you go to any of these points you will have to fight a rebel now this is where they're going to be upon your next jump so if I were to jump here I would have to fight them now your objective is to hit as many of these beacons as you can before you're hit by but before and get to the exit before they do and these nebulas actually slow down their rate at which they come at you so that's why I'm going to the nebulas Ooh. Uh, who's only capacity of small brightly colored six-legged horse-like animals could they be what your scan pick up? Ductile creepers quickly turn violent when you retrieve. Reveal your hostile intentions. Ah, oh, why would you reveal that? There are well organized stampede forces. Forces you to draw a weapon and make a rush and sometimes retreat to the shuttle. Oh. You can actually get a Mantis crew member off that, which I kind of want right now. Surprising, actually, because, oh, it's considered an NG bomber, that's why. But, uh, normally these ships, these Zoltan-type cruisers, they tend to have a energy shield, which kind of gets annoying, but... Let me see one, I'll tell you what it does. It's basically a shield that basically you just have to damage five times, I believe it is. Oop. Oop. Nah. Oh. Hit us. That's not good. Uh, as you see here, they have an NG. This is why I like to get that third upgrade on the sensors, because you can see the exact health of all these buildings. And we're just going to put that last attack right here to make sure we don't miss. Ironic, we missed. Oh, put that back up. Oh. Oh, they got a freaking. Maybe yeah, most of the crew accepts your offer to be dropped off. Uh, what was he? Yes, he's another mantis. Alright. Uh, actually, for. Yeah, you can go in there, actually. Because of the fact that, uh. Normally I put him on the auction, but if that goes down, one mantis is not gonna repair that very fast. So, that's what I want. Him there. So we're going here and then hit the nebulas. It's charging up its FTL, and these ships are the easiest ships in the world to take down. As of right now, these guys can actually damage me, but normally they won't actually be able to damage me because of the simple fact that. Wow. Wow. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Uh, yeah, you are dying fast. See, these guys are really good for attacking these. Oh my god! Alright, their weapons are down. Go attack that, please. They did some damage to our ship. Uh, yeah. He's gonna try to put out all those fires. And Jill put on these fires because he repairs faster. These two guys are freaking doing nothing, but that's fine. Alright, you can get back in your piloting station. You go into the med bay. And uh, as soon as you get oh, max health, go in there and then I'll send you there. Alright, so that's 60. For the next upgrade on that, that's 70 if I want to get another upgrade on that. Sorry if I'm not being like thorough and you don't know what's happening right now, but uh, it, basically you'll probably understand what's happening. And if you like this, uh, leave a comment below and I will keep doing it. And I didn't realize my shield was offline, that's not good. Never good to have your shields offline. Ah, that's an Artemis missile. Missiles penetrate all shields and do some damage. Okay. How are we doing in there? 
Alright, we're good. Sometimes those are called a fire or a breach. And that's not fun when they do that. That's just annoying. We're gonna take down their shields and then we're gonna fire again. <sighs> Alright, at least we got their shields offline though. That's always good. Boom, boom, boom. And then just in case we get that weapon system back online. Which I don't believe these auto I don't think these early auto assault bots can actually do that, but we're gonna do that. A lot of people are probably thinking, no, that was stupid, no, it ain't. It's okay. Every little thing is gonna be alright. Words of a smart man. Holy crap, no, that's not very many weapons, but for me right now, that's a lot of weapons. Why is this? Oh. Lasers hurt, lasers hurt. And boom, boom! Oh, they are getting everyone in there. I don't really care about killing them. Just probably not gonna happen. Since they have a rock and then no laser for the win. Shakalaka! My hull is critical. Not looking too good. Should have upgraded the shields. I'm gonna not do that. Just get a power bar first. How much would it be? So I need. I don't need to put that on the engines right now. So. Um. So one more. So 25 plus 50 is 55. Right now, what? What? 50 plus 25 is not 55, it's 75. What am I? Am I dumb? Yes. Ooh, I don't have any uh, missile launchers, so I'll do it. I believe they'll be at the exit next time, which we'll see if I was correct. Really? Sure. 